believe that if we do work together, we could make something wonderful. And I want to be part of that. If you could make a difference in one person, you could make a difference to many. My name is Melody Ledesma. I'm the country director of Mabuhay Desert Foundation. Mabuhay Desert Foundation is a surgical foundation. I believe it's one of the largest in the Philippines. It facilitates operations for the poor, especially those who are suffering from club feet cleft lip and cleft palates, and all types of eye maladies. Um, the foundation believes that if we um, help this uh, type of patients, they will be able to contribute to the society. The foundation was founded by Dr. Bill Edward Jackson in 1988. He was a missionary here for three years with his wife, Audrey. Since he was a doctor at the same time, he was very much concerned of the people he see on the streets that has a malformity in their bodies. And he felt like, why nobody's helping them? So the first time he saw somebody like that, he approached them and talked to their family and even brought them to the hospital, actually, to St. Luke's and facilitated their operation. One, two patients the first time, and now it grew into um, a very big foundation wherein we have a house now here in Manila. This is in Cubao. We can house patients up to 40 plus 40 companions, so we allow one patient and one companion to stay here. The name Deseret came from an ancient term called um, honey bee, wherein bees work together to make something sweet, which is honey. And that's the uh, belief and mission of Dr. Jackson that everyone could do something to make something sweet. Well, we average um, at least three to 4,000 surgeries a year. We are glad that there are other groups who are helping. And we want to share with people that there is still good in helping others. It's infectious, actually. We do have a lot of partners. Um, most of these partners were encountered by Dr. Jackson a long time before when he started with St. Luke's. And most of these are residents, opta residents, plastic surgeons. These doctors, when they are already doing their practice now and they're successful, they own hospitals, like for example, Dr. Vic Santos. He owns the chain of Fatima hospitals. He felt that, you know, um, helping the poor is one of the things that should be done for your practice. You, you don't just go to school to become a, you know, a doctor and be rich, but you go to school to become a doctor to help because you want to heal people. And I think that's what motivates these doctors. They see a foundation that would help them facilitate doing free operations. And they're also hospital partners who are willing to um, uh, share with us their operating room. We have now recently um, the orthopedic center. Uh, they allow us to fill the operating room with equipment so that they could operate more on our patients. We have a wonderful board of trustees. We have Jared Morrison as our chairman and Kim Morrison, his wife, as the president. They find sponsors for us. And of course, Charity Vision, who is our mother foundation in the U.S. We encounter challenges and problems once in a while with regards to finding more doctors who would help us out or finding a partner hospitals. But once we find people who are willing to help us, like the local government, you'll be surprised. There's so many people who would like to help, even the local government. I think that there are hurdles and challenges, but they're doable once you follow your heart and once we all work together. The first time I worked here, um, it took me two weeks to really determine that what, what I'm really doing here. It was heartbreaking, especially being exposed to these patients. Even I'm a nurse by profession, but being around them makes you have more love. 
As a mother, you envision your children to grow up well and be successful in their lives. And if you come to see the patients, and most of these patients are young, you know, young children, you also want the same for them. And in return, their family, you know, grow together. Helping becomes naturally for people who has a deep sense of love for the Savior because uh, the Lord Jesus Christ helps people during His lifetime. He, he doesn't choose who He helps. And if we don't choose who we help, uh, it becomes natural. And helping is more about service and love, being selfless and not thinking of what's in it for me. It's what can you do for that person to help that person be better. And if you do that, um, I think life is easier and happier for everyone. I think a woman is a partner of God to tend to His children. So that's our role. As a woman, you tend to your flocks. You tend to God's children. You watch over them, help them make sure they're okay and well. Mabuhay Desert actually has been very uh, simple and quiet, I would say. They're not like a, a foundation, like, look at us, look at what we're doing. But it's more just, we're going to help. We want to help people. We wanted to change, help change their lives. I think the foundation would still go a long, long way because of so many people who have uh, the desire to help change lives. I think Filipinos are like that. They wanted to contribute to lift another person. And I think Mabuhay Desert is standing on a higher ground so it could help people up. We have wonderful women in the foundation, like Dr. Abalsi, and, uh, who works with us with Orto. And we also have Kimi Flaviano, who is our small team partner. She's the country director for Small Train. Oh. This is Terry Redrino. She's been with oh. Mabuhay in the beginning. She's the first person that Dr. Jackson employed in, at Mabuhay Desert Foundation. And we love her so much. We call her our Florence Nightingale. The secret here is you need to love your work. I saw everything from the beginning. So what really keeps me going here is the dedication, the love, the passion, hope, hope that there's something can be done, even sometimes if it is impossible, you know, and loyalty, dedication, that's what keeps me going. <laughs> I'm much more needed here. I feel I could do more here. I used to work as a nurse also for the government of Paranaque. And there's so much that you can do. And when I was introduced to Mabuhay, I was so happy because I could do more um, working uh, directly with patients. A wonderful woman is strong and influential and powerful with words and with the knowledge, especially if we put the knowledge into practice. Um, my message to them is just keep doing what they're doing, help more in any way they can to be more selfless, because if we do that, we make the world a better place.